Hey guys, and today I'm playing with my Victor. So I was wondering if I can even improve the sound, which I achieved it after replacing multiple parts in this deck. So that's a playback amplifier. And as you remember, both GVC produce a very a significant bump on the low range, uh, which uh, makes like me overwhelmed like with with this music I, I'm listening and like I'd like to make it more uh, flat and like uh, good on the all range. So this is original uh, schematic and I did redraw it. Come on. Uh, here. I did redraw it uh, using uh, online editor to understand like what's wrong with it and let me show what I will be changing so this is a regular amplifier here is a head connected we have uh, fed transistors our current stabilizer two bipolar transistors uh, here is a differential amplifier this is the uh, curve correction uh, branch here you see so it gets a signal from the output and additionally to the uh, resistor which uh, keeps uh, amplification level it has additional curve to significantly uh, increase um, uh, frequencies above some a predefined range it's to compensate loss on the heads and like uh, it's all decks has it so this actually is a, a chain rc chain where we adjust how significantly our curve will go up or down and uh, this is what i will be showing in my next videos and then like we have a uh, signal goes to the output capacitor here but here we have rc filter uh, and it has cutoff frequency three gigahertz only so it's like works like all frequencies each amplifier with this amplifier are in the range like around 30 to 50 gears only everything else will be cut and then it mixes back to the amplifier network. So I believe this is the back uh, like negative feedback loop, which actually increases this uh, low frequencies bump. So what I will be doing, I will try to remove this uh, resistor R15 uh, at all. And if it will like sound in too poor, I will probably put here an adjustable port to be able to adjust it and have it just right amount. But I, I doubt that we need this uh, circuitry at all because like, um, it's too obvious that it just cuts and like amplifies a very, very low range. Okay, now let me I do modifications and I will measure now before I make modification to see the bump and then after modification. So it would be obvious what we're fixing. See you in the next part. Okay guys, and here I do recording now. And here is the recording curve. So you may see what's going on on the low range around 20 gears there is a huge bump and it's normal tape so this deck record is still 17 kilogertz on the normal tape and if i will just stop and it will go to the source mode let's see it should go just make straight line on the source mode you see so the problem happening on the playback only So that's what we will be fixing. 
right? So source plays really really nice on this deck. It's very flat on the all range, as you may see. And now it will flatten up the lower range, you see. So it just works a little bit slow. But now you see, so that's the source. And it's pretty straight line. And I will be removing two resistors, uh, trying to achieve the flat curve on the playback as well. So see you in a moment. Okay, and here I just pull up one leg for the R119, R R219. You see, it just here. This guy, and this guy. And here is the source. And now let's do recording. And let's see how the curve will look like now. Well, it just dropped level significantly. Interesting. Okay, let me install the pots. Let's see how we can change it. So it's definitely pretty interesting results so we lost amplification on the lower range okay don't afraid to do experiments <laughs> it's definitely pretty interesting 20 decibel loss here and like almost everything on the right channel okay let me install pots see you soon Okay, guys, I put the resistors back and now I remove its uh, capacitors. Uh, which is right here 106 and 206. Okay, which gets lower filter. Yeah. And here is the results what I'm getting. You see, it's dropped uh, amplification on the lower range, like below 1 kilohertz. Um, let me try to install 3.3 .3 microfarad versus 4.7 and check what will be going on. See you soon. Okay, guys. So I replaced it, so these two capacitors, 116 and 216, with 2.2 microfarad versus 4.7 as it was in schematic. And I have a much better picture here. It's much more linear with those huge bumps around 20 gears. Okay, now let me record some music and listen how it will sound if it will be better. See you. Bye bye. Hey guys, and I'm finishing tuning deck after changing capacitors. So I'm tuning it one more time, a uh, record azimuth. And now, as you may see on type one, we record pretty well to 20 kilohertz. So that's how azimuth can affect recording levels. So let's try uh, higher levels. Let's remove light a little bit like that. Okay. Minus 10. Yeah, it cannot do same as Nakamichi or Akai. Minus 6. Yeah, you see. It just flat on minus 20. Oh, yeah. But at least it now flat. So no more issues. Good. Good. See you soon.